Alright, my friends, it's Krebsy, and we're playing some War Thunder Jets! <laughs> it's come to that point. Uh, I feel like... I, I know we've done Jets before. I know we have. We've done Jets Part 1 and Part 2. And you can maybe almost consider this Part 3, but if anything, consider this not necessarily the beginning and the end of the series, but more so a beginning of Jets on, on the channel. Uh, I think I've come to the point in War Thunder where I need to take a step into Jets. And I know it kind of sounds, you know, like, oh, Krebs, what, are you hitting puberty or something? You know, this isn't a big step in life or anything. But to be fair, I think in anyone's War Thunder career, jumping onto the next age or set of planes is a big jump. Like, I remember going from biplanes up onto the higher tier monoplanes was a big jump for me. I originally didn't want to play uh, in the old old patch. I didn't want to play above tier 2 because I just enjoyed biplanes and then eventually I said okay I'm gonna go play those higher level planes and I enjoyed them and now I frequent around them the most out of all planes. And I think it's come to that stage where I've got to jump on into jets now. I'm high level, I'm almost level 80, I've got a number of jets unlocked, not tons, okay? I, I don't have like every single jet unlocked and I've just been holding back purposely. I've just got like one or two sporadic here and there and my Brits has the most. Actually just recently I unlocked the Meteor F4 and that is my highest jet, jet at the moment for my Brits. The Meteor F4 and that's the LW, alright? so. <laughs> Mind you, these are s stock planes as well. The, the reason why I was he holding back was because I don't like using stock planes. I don't, especially with the higher tier ones where it takes ages to grind out something. So, what you're seeing today, this footage, is actually me using my stock as balls jets. <laughs> there really are stock as balls, but it goes to show you can do pretty damn well in your stock as balls jets. And there's no there's no fear uh, you know what guys I actually have to admit it now I think a little bit of fear is good I was shaking a little bit when I was playing this match you know my first proper Jets game in months now and especially I felt a lot of pressure on my shoulders like to to perform as well as I do in other matches uh, yeah it was a lot of pressure uh, but as I was saying it goes to show that you can do pretty damn well in stock planes it doesn't necessarily mean you need a great plane in order to play good so that's the lesson to be learned from this match that you're watching today guys so this is actually the first game that I had yesterday with my jets and oh my god what the hell <laughs> how did my plane not explode from that what seemed to be some sort of collision I guess a, a high five of sorts with planes <laughs> but this is my first game yesterday in, in Jets since months now and I had so much fun playing it I, I think it's kind of hard to explain how much fun it is for something to go so fast and to be killing things so fast as well I was sort of expecting when going into these planes that I'd be doing strafing runs and doing only little bits of damage at a time and I'd have to continuously do that to get a kill no way man you go in for one pass and they are obliterated. The moment you see tracers behind you, you just speed away because sometimes, depending what jet you got, what planes you're coming against, sometimes it'll be a prop plane trying to chase you down or an even weaker jet, I guess, a slower one, and you can just outspeed them. Yeah, I have a lot of fun jets. It's not to say though that the prop planes are crap. What I actually noticed then, you know, I go on a pretty high kill streak right there I mean five kills in my first jet uh, which isn't bad but you'll see towards the end when I start using prop planes you can go on a decent amount of kill streaks as well uh, using your prop planes whether that's against other prop planes or against jets you just have to sort of adjust because the thing is the jets w jets want to the jet players want to get kills as well clearly and how are they gonna do that they're gonna obviously come down at you and all you gotta do is fire back at them, it's as easy as that. The moment a jet gets hit, and what I feel like is that they're really fragile, if a jet gets hit by anything, it either combusts, or it just 
takes mass critical damage and that's it, you're gone. A wing comes off, or an elevator, or an aileron, whatever. Slight little damage and a jet can't, it's just out of the fight. I know you can do some really wonky stuff like I did in my first jet, like a collision of sorts, but this wasn't my only game that I've played in jets. Um, it's my first one yesterday, but ever since I've played maybe about a dozen or so more matches. And I've had to take a lot of baby steps trying to learn the way of the fast speed in these things. Trying to observe what other people are doing. And a lot of times I've noticed that I can go on relatively high amount of kills in a match, but not necessarily high kill streaks. As in I'll get, you know, 10, 11 kills, the highest I've gotten so far is 16. But then my kill death won't be great. I'll have like six, seven deaths. It's not per it's not great at all. And I think it comes down to moments like that. When you have when you do head-ons. Because what I'm sort of used to is because in prop planes, you're closing in at a slower speed. It's still really fast, but a slower speed than jets would. And so I'm sort of used to having more a, a bigger space of time where I can fire at a plane head on and then break off. Whereas in these things, I'm not really used to them. And that's something I've observed when I was in actually one of my matches today. There's like a clan, a squadron of four jet guys. Really good guys as well, and I was just observing what they were doing. When they came into head-ons, they would only burst fire for maybe a second, if, if even that, a split second. And then they just broke off. Just hoping that whatever they shot would hit. And sometimes it would, sometimes it wouldn't. But they would have gotten out of the way, guaranteeing them life, essentially. Because as I was saying, these jets, the moment they take a shot or two, that's, that, that's them out. They take mass damage really, really quick. Ouch! See, and all these deaths are just coming from from these head-ons. And that's me out of all mine already. That's four jets gone, gone on by. All my meteors, my F4, my F3s, my vampire. And I know people say various things about the vampire. I, can't, I couldn't really comment on it before because I didn't really play. But apparently it's very maneuverable. <laughs> it's very maneuverable. Uh, and that's kind of a nice thing to have. Because when you're using your Meteor F4s, your F3s, whatever, if you need to turn around, it's going to be a big turn. It doesn't come tight. And with the Vampire, it feels like you can do tighter turns. Not perfect. And it does feel a bit wonky. Especially just the way that the plane is actually designed. And it feels a bit wonky. Sort of like using, I don't know, an XP-38. But it, it, it does feel a bit maneuverable. It does feel a bit maneuverable. So then, we've got one kill so far. The match is coming nearer and nearer to an end. And I had a lot of fun using those jets that I've had thus far. Oh, man. Oh, I can really explain it to you. I mean, if, if you've used jets, then you know what I'm on about. But if you haven't, just imagine driving something really fast, whatever it might be, something really fast, a Ferrari, a Lamborghini, whatever, and then having guns attached to it. It's sort of like that. It feels like you're racing and killing stuff all at the same time. It's an amazing feeling. Everything goes by so fast. And I think it's just probably, I guess, my, my newbie side coming out. Because I'm used to using prop planes. I'm used to using something that's slower but when all of a sudden I'm traveling 700, 800, 900, sometimes even 1000 in a dive and I know that's not even as great as some of the MIGs and Sabres later on but th that that mu that fast th uh, this far is it's just it's, uh, it's a bit unreal if anything so anyway the game's just about over and one awesome thing about playing high tier games like this is just the earnings that you get. You get so much lions, it's awesome. So anyway guys, until next time, this is Krebsy and I'll catch you guys later.